I'm outside in the AMG, right outside, TT, two time baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All my niggas around me, ride or they die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Oh! Welcome back to another video with Megan McQueen, man. Watch it with McQueen. Make sure you guys scroll down and hit the like button. Make sure you guys scroll down and hit the subscribe button, man. Because we're posting videos every goddamn day. Multiple times a day. Okay? Now, yesterday I wasn't able to post because, you know what I'm saying, it was Mother's Day. And I don't get to see my mother that often. Um, you know, because I'd be over here grinding so much for y'all. Um, so I took the day off because, you know, I was with her all day. And by the time I got back, nigga, it was, I was just, uh, I was done. And I posted the main channel video and I edited another main channel video after that. And I was just, I was just done, dude. Like, I, I just couldn't, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, we back. We back on it, you know what I'm saying? It's the beginning of the week. It's Monday, you know what I'm saying? We back on the grind, you know? And then change with the day. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, man. We got Murder Hornet Madness. Now, a lot of niggas have been saying something about this Murder Hornet BS. You know what I'm saying? Woo -woo -woo has, supposedly, we got these, you know what I'm saying? These weaponized, <laughs> like, armored hornets walking around or flying around trying to take niggas out. And, you know, I can really give a damn less, honestly. Like, at this point, I really don't believe anything that America tells us. I really don't care, honestly. But, you know, I guess I'm going to act like, like I really give a damn for this video. Sorry, y'all. If I seem, like, really relaxed and kind of, like, you know, it's not because I'm high. It's because I just, like, literally made these damn tacos, these breakfast tacos. You know what I'm saying? And they was heavy as hell. I had scrimp. had an egg. Had some mushrooms, had some spinach, and I'm damn near about to pass out from the itis. So, you know, don't worry about me. I'm good. You know, inside I still got all the energy for this video. It's just gonna look like I'm high as hell, but I'm not. Okay, Murder Hornet Man. There's ten things you need to know. Okay, let's go ahead and watch this, man. Look at that beast. From its head to its thorax, everything about this creature screams. Run in the other direction. Ah! Oh, this thing is stuck in my arm. This is making sense. I'm supposed to believe some BS like this? Come on, man. If it's supposedly killing niggas, why would you put it on your arm, bro? Come on, man. I'm supposed to believe this, bro. Y'all gotta wake up, man. At this point, America's really just a joke. I mean, it's been a joke. The moment we elected, you know, Donald Trump, this country just became a joke. This is... This, at this point, America is literally just a big-ass reality TV show. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this nigga an idiot, bro. Hey, what is this a Lee Village symbol? Oh, steering pain. Absolute steering pain. I don't even think this nigga believes in him. The way, you know, he's describing him. Murder. Hornet madness. Oh, my God. Stand by. Stand by. Coyote, breaking news here. Yep. Action. Murder Hornets. Oh, this is definitely this a is joke. Breaking news. Welcome to the Brave Wilderness News Network. I'm your host, Coyote Peterson. And unless you've been living on the moon for the past five days, I'm sure you've also seen the headline that's been sweeping the nation. Not really. Murder Hornets and their invasion here in America. Well, guys, I got to tell you, Murder Hornets are not going to invade America. What I'm going to do now is answer 10 of the most asked questions that have been coming in through the social media feeds. We're going to address whether or not these hornets are going to show up what exactly a murder hornet is, and whether or not you truly need to be afraid of these seemingly terrifying creatures. So if you guys are ready, here we go. Here we go. Question number one. 
What is a murder hornet? Well, what is it? first of all, the term murder hornet was just created by the media to evoke fear. In Thank you. Public. Thank no you. Such thing as a murder hornet, and there's not any hornet species. Okay, that- this is exactly okay. I, I now I understand this nigga's actually a very, very smart human being. I thought, you know, he was like about to come on here and make try and like make us believe that this was actually true after doing that goofy ass intro. I should have known, you know what I'm saying, from the amount of views and how many likes, you know what I'm saying, uh, that the nigga was really just <laughs> was joking, man. You know what I'm saying? He's very woke. He's a very woke person, man. None of you niggas should be scared of this. It's not real. You heard it from a queen first. You heard it from this nigga, man. Believe me, man. It's not real. Coronavirus is not even real. It's not real. I've been saying this. So, you know what I'm saying? This nigga's a goat. Just off of that funny ass intro. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to murder humans, so to speak. What they are scientifically known as is Asian giant hornets. Now, you guys saw me stung by something known as the Japanese giant hornet in 2018, and that is one of the world's largest Asian hornet species. There are multiple subspecies, and the one that showed up in the Pacific Northwest is an Asian hornet of some sort, but that does not mean that there is an outbreak of these insects that are about to take over the U.S. Question number two, how big are they? Well, given their name, giant hornets, they're really big. In fact, most of the largest species measure close to two inches in length with a three inch wingspan. In Japan, they refer to the Japanese giant hornet as the great sparrow billy. This is because the insect is so large, it resembles a bird when it's flying through the air. In fact, they're so loud, it almost sounds like an Apache helicopter is getting ready to land and it flies by you. So trust me, you're gonna hear it far before you see it. And I'm gonna beat that nigga ass. Question number three, how did they get here? Well, first of all, let's not use the term they. Thus far, we have a single individual that has been found. Listen to me, any of you bugs watching this video right now, do not come into my house. Y'all seen what happened to your buddies on that last video or one of my old videos like that I reacted. I reacted to something, you know what I'm saying? And I beat every single fly that came in here in a matter of 10 minutes, okay? Do not try me, nigga. McQueen the Fly Slayer. McQueen the Insect Slayer. Remember the name. So if any of you insects is watching this video... Make sure you tell you and your buddies do not show up in the McQueen Aqua Crib. I will kill you. You will not return to the outside world. Keep in mind, it was also dead, which means it's not going to be reproducing. And it didn't just get here on its own. A hornet like that cannot fly all the way across the ocean and end up in the United States. That is physically impossible. The animal would have exhausted itself, died, and fallen into the ocean far before it made landfall. The way that it likely got here was on a cargo ship. This is one way that a lot of invasive species end up on our soil. Nigga, they stow away that on the nigga. Boat. Once the boat docks, is that nigga clapping in the wood? Land, what the hell the is this boat. nigga doing? Lo and behold, it's out there in the environment for us humans here in the United States to encounter. Ugh, so it's an ugly ass, ass nigga, bro. So I want to just, bro, just looking at you made me want to beat your ass, four. bro. How many are here now? To be honest with you, I am not sure. Is there more than one? Possibly. Entomologists are specifically working on this topic now in the Pacific Northwest to determine whether or not a nest in a colony has formed. If that is the case, once they find it, it will be eradicated, and it is unlikely that the spread of the hornets will go any further than that. So the concept of them moving from Washington to New York City in the next 18 months, completely unlikely. Hmm. Question number five, how painful is the sting? <laughs> Second most painful insect sting in the world, according to Kyrie Peterson. The pain is excruciating. It feels like someone has shoved a red hot poker into your arm and does not remove it for close to six hours. After I was stung, my arm had swollen up to nearly twice its Damn. size, and I was in intense pain for almost 36 Damn. hours. Damn. Trust me. Oh my not God. You want to get oh stung. my God. But also keep in mind, it is only Never mind. the most painful sting. The most painful sting goes to the true king, the executioner ones. Trust me, you don't want to be stung by that one either. Question number six How potent is the venom? 
Well, it's quite potent, and keep this in mind, a larger insect is going to have a larger venom yield. That means a single two inch hornet is going to inject more venom in its sting than something like your typical backyard hornet. Now, the venom does have neurotoxic properties, which means that it does attack your nervous system, but it also has some compounds that can break down human flesh, which means that it can cause necrosis. So it is a very potent sting. Just a single sting alone is more than a single human would ever want to handle. But several stings, let's say 20 to 30, could potentially kill a human. But death usually occurs as a secondary allergic reaction. So it's not so much the stings as much as it is being allergic to the insect's venom. Question number seven, will the giant hornet sting me for no reason? No, these hornets will not sting unless provoked. Cat. By provoked, I mean if you tried to catch, tried to kill, or tried to spray one of these creatures with an insecticide. Just like all hornets and wasps, if they feel threatened, they will attack. Now, a single hornet is likely to just leave you alone. If you accidentally stumble upon a nest and disturb it, that is how you get swarmed, and that is the worst case scenario that hopefully none of us will ever have to deal with. Let me show you. Answer Listen to me. Like I said, I don't give a you damn if you're going to be provoked or none of that. You coming to my crib, you're dying. Okay? You're getting clapped. Lot out, nigga. You're done. Over. Okay? I don't give a damn. You will die. I'm beating any nigga ass that come to this crib. Yeah. Oh, you're a hornet watching this video? <laughs> Listen to me. Let me tell you now, man. If you try to test my gangster, man. Please think wisely before you do. Because I, I, I will not hesitate to whoop your ass. And not only am I going to whoop your ass. Matter of fact, I might torture you. I might just have a little fun. I might just cut your stinger off. No more stinger for you, buddy. Okay? Might just snip it off. Get, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to be screaming. Then, I might take a little ho hookah poker. You know that hookah poker that you poke the old little holes for the, you know what I'm saying, the, the, on the top? I'm going to take that, and I'm going to stab your ass right in the middle of your stomach. Yep. Watch that little, that little hornet blood come out. Uh-huh. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an X-Acto knife, right? I'm going to just slice your little ugly ass head off. Uh-huh. And I'm going to enjoy it. Then I'm going to just step on the rest of your body. Spit on you. Disrespect the hell out of you. Because guess what? You disrespected the hell out of me. But I think that you could just mosey on, on into my crib. Okay? Yeah, it sounds vile. Because it is. Question number eight. Who needs to be afraid? Honestly, nobody. <laughs> Facts. Nobody that's human, that is. Now, beekeepers definitely need to be aware because it's the bees that do need to fear the hornets, specifically European honeybees, because they have not yet evolved to a state where they are capable of forming a defense against these hornets. All these niggas need to die. What hornets will do is come in and decimate an entire country. I know I'm pissing off all these little, you know, hippies and whatnot, but you can kiss my ass. These niggas all got to die. And then they eat all of the larvae. Now... Asian honeybee species have worked out a way If I can hit a button to just kill all insects, believe me, I would hit it in a heartbeat. Something known as a bee ball, where and not think a second a about it. Beat their wings as fast as they can. Oh, McQueen, we need insects to make the world go round. I don't want to hear none of that. However, I bet you anything will be just fine. Figured out how to do this yet, which means if giant hornets did become a stronghold here in the United States, beekeepers would definitely need to try to protect their colonies from these hornets. The biggest threat is that the hornets would come in and wipe out our honeybees. Question number nine, what should I do if I see one of these hornets? Well, you definitely what they don't want to approach it. You definitely don't want to provoke it, and you don't want to try to catch it or kill it. If you can, from a safe distance, get a photograph. Verifying the species identification is the most important thing we can do right now. What? Take that information and Verify the species. Imagine walking up to a hornet and be like, listen, can I see some ID? <laughs> Uh, 
Oh my god, bro. Did this nigga just say, let me see some identification? Bro, listen to me. I promise you, I am not walking up to no hornet and acting like a cop. I'm not gonna do that. Let the nigga come near me. Come near me. You're getting taken out. Like I said multiple times in this video. That's what I'm gonna do. What should you do? You should take the nigga out. Get him out of here. Send him to the gulag, nigga. They can help you properly identify the species, and then they will get in touch with entomologists that can come out into your area and determine whether or not there is a hive or colony that has taken root in an area near you. Question number 10. Is the hype real? Are giant hornets going to invade America? Oh my God. To be honest, I would say it's very unlikely. Even if a colony has established itself in the Pacific Northwest, entomologists are going to track it down and destroy it long before the hornets are going to spread from Washington clear across to New York. I'm so confident in saying that that I would come out of sting retirement and get stung by one if it was here in the United States. That's right. That's right. Coyote Peterson is coming out of sting retirement. Pretty that's how I feel about the coronavirus, man. Like, I'll literally go and roll. Someone goes and sneezes on the ground. I will literally go and roll in that same ground. Take a shower, and I promise you, I'm not going to get no type of coronavirus. It's just not real. Still haven't heard one nigga that got a coronavirus. Oh my God, McQueen, my, my family members died from it. Listen to me. Like, your family members died from something else. I'm so sorry. Rest in peace to your family members. Rest in peace to any of your, you know, your, your, your siblings or whoever you may have lost. Best friends, whoever it may be. Rest in peace. That's not funny. And then that is, needs to be va taken very seriously. But they I promise you they didn't die from coronavirus. There's so many people that had already came out and said, even doctors have came out and said that they're just literally telling people that they have the coronavirus just to prove that they have the coronavirus to instill fear. You know what I'm saying? Niggas have walked in there and had a regular goddamn fever. Niggas have walked in there and had a, a regular allergic reaction. And guess what? The doctors don't even pay attention and they just stamp it. Coronavirus. No. Nobody has died from coronavirus, dude. It's fake. Okay? Millions of people die every single damn day, nigga. And they're dying from other deaths that were already happening before this whole stupid ass coronavirus thing, man. Wake the hell up, y'all. It's not true. Just because they're telling you you died from they died from it. It's not true. Doctors, real life doctors who deal with these patients every single day have came out and said that. That they're being ordered to tell everybody that whoever patient that has died, it's, it, it's due to coronavirus. Some girl came out. She said she walked into the goddamn urgent care. And she asked the doctor, you know what I'm saying, why can't I taste anything? I'm losing my sense of taste. <laughs> the doctor said, oh, sounds like you got coronavirus. Listen to me. <laughs> All these so-called symptoms of coronavirus, nowhere in it does it say you're losing sense of taste. She walked in there and immediately just got told that she has coronavirus. And her fever was not even a fever. She had a normal temperature of 98. <sighs> you guys need to wake up, man. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs> breaking news, breaking news, China. All right, I've had enough of this nigga corny ass jokes. All right, that's the end of the video, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to watch it with McQueen channel, man. We're going crazy. Post multiple videos.